give us a nutshell. I mean, we're down to just a couple minutes. So tell us real in a nutshell, five outer directed terrains and the five inner directed terrains. Nutshell, the first one, matter-based terrain particles. Think of caveman coming from fear in every moment. Faith-based terrain radial. Think of a fundamentalist who's given all their power to a god or a deity outside of themselves and obeys them to the law. Then the will-based terrain pyramid. These are people who like think they need to accumulate wealth and power in order to keep themselves safe. And then we've got the order-based terrain square where people really believe that the system will keep them safe and they're buying into the consensus reality and believing in authority and trying to contribute to society. And then we've got the reflection-based terrain diamond where the shift is people start to realize I control my own reality, I'm in charge of my identity, and they start to innovate and create, and, and the human mind is what keeps them safe and creativity and ingenuity. And those are the five outer terrains because they're sourcing from outside of yourself, and now the next five terrains are the inner terrains where you're sourcing from within Yourself. Exactly. And so the shift from the reflection-based terrain diamond to the connection-based terrain circle essentially is a shift from outer to inner. You could also think of it as a shift from fear to love or from head to heart. At the connection-based terrain circle, someone really has a visceral connection to the web of life and they're coming from collaboration and heart-based decision-making. And then the terrain after that, the coherence-based terrain spiral, someone starts to have a multi-dimensional sense of self and they're really embodying this understanding that they create their own reality from the inside out and they're taking full responsibility for the reality that's created in their life. And then the terrain after that, the fractal-based terrain toroid, this is the terrain where someone has a really embodied understanding of the quantum field and the universal principles and a lot of the great religious teachings and scientific teachings and profound teachings have come through awakened beings who are at this fractal-based terrain toroid. And then the terrain after that, the unity-based terrain infinity, this is the terrain of people who are enlightened, who, who really are just going through the world without an agenda as a witness in a completely surrendered state, pretty much permanently online to that infinite internet that we were mm. talking about before. And then the final one, which is just a bookend, you're not going to meet anyone at this terrain, but the void-based terrain, no thing. Think of like ascended masters, you know, people, people who, are, who are beyond physical form, that they're basically beings of light. But these are just the bookends, the particle and nosing at either end of the continuum, just to give us like the, the complete picture. But the vast majority of people in our day and age will be somewhere between pyramid and maybe spiral. You'll have a few people yeah. at radial, a few people at toroid. But, you know, the, yeah. the culture collectively, that the gravity of our culture has shifted over the last 40, 50 years in many Western countries from square to diamond, from the order-based terrain to reflection-based terrain. And one of the things that's happening at the moment with this COVID shutdown is just the very beginning of our society starting to the little baby beginnings of the shift towards circle connection-based terrain, which will probably happen over the next 40, 50 years, but just starting to come back to question our disconnected state that we're living in as culture at the moment. Alan and Tani, thank you so much. That was beautiful, wonderful work. And I'm definitely going to be talking about this for a while. 10terrains.com.